One thing, the food is definitely not cheap here. That's almost five dollars here. Five dollar breakfast for just some clementines. So it's our first full day here in Tokyo and we woke up quite jet lagged at 2 a.m. We stayed up till around 7 or 8 and then we fall back asleep to like 12 almost so we start the day off quite late but that's okay i mean we i think we needed some rest and we are just walking through the town right now we are staying in that area called shibuya we are just on the way to a small little, um chopstick shop which is a really famous chopstick shop do you know the shop in san laguna or something? yeah so there have supposed to be like a lot of different like chopstick things and pouches and just cute little things everything is just cute here and some of these chopsticks are supposed to even be like 30 to 300 dollars which is just insane but you know Japan is like famous for their chopsticks because they eat everything with chopsticks so we thought we'd check that out and then show you around <laughs> and everything is nice and Christmassy so we probably spent a while in here it's very fun <laughs> can you get a five what is five stationary yes yeah. let's go he <laughs> that toes We got back to our place and we were just walking for a few hours it's quite busy out there and yeah Tokyo is crazy all these people all the different streets it's just like how they coordinate everything though but it's so organized which we kind of really like so it's a big big city all adverts everywhere it's kind of like Times Square just on drugs almost and at night it looks even cooler as well we kind of walked around yesterday already and just like with all the lights on it's just crazy it's almost like a city that never sleeps as well kind of like New York so that's really really cool so we walked around we walked into like all these different shops obviously not all of them there's so many and they have 
all kinds of decorations and home goods and just also clothing and just everything is cute and just nice and I don't know we enjoy to just look around and explore we kind of got back to our place now to just chill out and relax a bit and oh there was another thing we walked into this supermarket and let me tell you as I said the at the beginning the fruit and vegetables are not that cheap here <laughs> <laughs> That's fake though. It looks real. It's not. There's a whole kitty on a banana. Expensive. Wow. That's crazy. It's like eight dollars for mango. Oh no, we topped it with thirty-five dollars for some grapes. Uh, yeah. So we found like a little organic section. Oh my god, we found this stuff. Oh my god. Peanut butter. Granola. Lacuma powder for $25. Vitabix. No way. And coca oats. Beans. Beans, yeah. How much? Three euro for one. 75 oh my god how much is this 260 dollars almost oh my god so as you saw the prices are insane not only i mean the conventional stuff so just like clementines and apples and stuff are already quite expensive like a small bag is like four dollar fifty and then maybe like an apple is over a dollar and what else did we see like we saw vegetables which are like a head of lettuce is maybe like two to three dollars you kind of have to like make the best out of it i guess but some of the things are insane there was like this expensive melon was like 76 dollars so that is like crazy so some of these things are really expensive but i don't know what they do with it like it's just more to look at it i don't think ever, anyone would ever buy that so anyways i'm bubbling on we chill out here and then we probably go out to get some food for dinner so speaking about persimmons i just have this big persimmon here which i'm gonna try and they grow here so they're from japan nice and squishy it's kind of hard to find ripe ones but this one is looks good okay that's mmm gooey mm. and we're heading out again damn it <laughs> okay take two. Oh, it's already dark oh and cool. Such a quiet like side street. And all these hills there. And they have these vending machines along the street. They serve what is it? Like energy drinks and also some water. Tea. And coffee, tea. So cute. Alright. Let's go. What, what we are here for sweet potatoes Ooh. sweet potatoes sweet potatoes and water and lettuce so we got back to our place and it was kind of an adventure we went to the supermarket and then we were walking around to look for some sushi and we finally found some. Evan picked up some kapamaki. I picked up some lettuce at the supermarket. And I'm just munching on like some cucumber and a carrot, some more veggies. And my beautiful head of lettuce. I miss green, so I just like treated myself to this $2 head of lettuce. But yeah, munching on that. And then, as I said, the vegetables are a bit expensive here and, and fruits and kind of needed to something to eat obviously so I decided yesterday when we were at the supermarket that I just tried to eat some sweet potatoes and that was the first time I had sweet potatoes in over three years I tried them they're called like yaki emo which I haven't tried before either like at all because these are like white sweet potatoes they're purple from the outside and white from the inside and they bake them here till they get really soft and gooey and the syrup comes out and 
I know a few of you guys can relate to that. I know that a lot of people eat like baked sweet potatoes and they love them so I had to try them and they're amazing. So we picked up some today and I probably have like one or two of these gooey. They smell so good. Let me let me show you them. So this is how they look like. And they as I said like they bake them till perfection and they're still warm and gooey. Ooh. Steam coming out, so we're gonna have that nice, satisfying dinner. And I mean, sometimes you just have to adjust with what you're eating. And I mean, sweet potato here in Japan, they grow here, they make them fresh, and yeah, so really delicious. So we have dinner now. Let's have some sushi. Ooh. That tastes like cake better. All right, guys, that's it for the day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was our first day here in Tokyo, and we for sure really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and look forward to more travel adventure videos because I'm sure I'm gonna post more. We're gonna have an amazing time, hopefully, and I hope you're with me. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos, and yeah, I hope to see you in my next video, guys. Bye. And I'm snacking on some apples with some cinnamon.